in the quaint village of Ethervale nestled between rolling hills and a crystal clear river, lived a young and earnest blacksmith named Eamon. Eamon was known far and wide for his exceptional skills, unmatched craftsmanship, and unwavering integrity. His father had taught him the importance of staying true to one's word and honoring commitments. One bright morning, a well-dressed nobleman named Lord Cedric arrived in Ethervale. Lord Cedric was on a quest to acquire the finest sword in the land for his collection. And he had heard rumors of Eamon's remarkable craftsmanship. With a haughty air about him, Lord Cedric approached Eamon's forge. Blacksmith, I hear you are the best in these parts. I demand a sword of unparalleled beauty and strength, Lord Cedric declared. His tone condescending. Eamon nodded respectfully. Acknowledging the request, my lord, I will craft a sword that will exceed your expectations. However, I must inform you that it will take time to create a masterpiece worthy of your stature. I pledge to deliver it to you in one month's time. Lord Cedric's eyes narrowed as he scoffed. One month? That is far too long. I have no time to waste waiting for a mere sword. Eamon stood his ground his gaze unwavering. My lord, a sword of the finest quality requires meticulous workmanship. I assure you, the weight will be worth it. Infuriated by Eamon's refusal to compromise, Lord Cedric stormed off, muttering discontentedly. Eamon's commitment to integrity over immediate gratification had left an indelible impression on the nobleman. As the days passed, Eamon labored tirelessly over the sword, pouring his heart and soul into every strike of the hammer and every curve of the blade. The village watched in awe as Eamon meticulously transformed raw metal into a work of art that radiated strength and nobility. One evening, just as the sun was setting, a mysterious figure approached the forge. It was an old woman with a gnarled staff. Her eyes shining with a wisdom that transcended years. Amen. Your dedication to your craft and your unwavering integrity have not gone unnoticed, she spoke. With a gentle smile, I have been sent to offer you a gift. A gift that will aid you in your pursuit of excellence. With a wave of her staff, the old woman conjured a radiant light that enveloped Amen's forge. In an instant. The sword was infused with a brilliance that seemed to capture the very essence of Ether Wales. Beauty. Eamon was speechless, humbled by this unexpected blessing. Thank you, kind lady. This sword is now a true embodiment of my commitment to integrity. The old woman nodded approvingly. Remember, Eamon. It is not only the quality of your work that matters but also the integrity with which you carry out your tasks. Let this sword be a reminder of that truth. A month had passed since Lord Cedric's visit, and Eamon's masterpiece was finally complete. The sword gleamed like moonlight on water. Its craftsmanship a testament to his dedication and honor. Eamon carefully wrapped the sword in velvet and made his way to Lord Cedric's grand estate. Upon seeing the sword, Lord Cedric's arrogance faded replaced by a mixture of awe and remorse. He had underestimated the blacksmith's commitment and integrity. As Eamon presented the sword, he spoke with a calm yet firm voice. My lord, I have fulfilled my promise. This sword represents not only my skill but also the integrity that guides my work. Lord Cedric accepted the sword with newfound respect. His demeanor changed. Eamon. I apologize for doubting you and for underestimating the power of integrity. This sword is truly a masterpiece, worthy of its creator. And so, Eamon's unwavering integrity not only created a masterpiece of craftsmanship but also left an indelible mark on a proud nobleman. The village of Ethervale learned that true worth lies not only in the final product but also in pay. Values upheld during its creation. The radiant sword became a symbol of Eamon's dedication and integrity.
inspiring generations to come to uphold their own commitments with honor and honesty.